Oh, <laughs> you two have been so sweet. This table is the perfect height for Mila to stand and play, which she loves doing. Also, she, her legs are so strong now, it blows my mind. But she keeps like starting to let go. I'm not ready for this yet, Mila. I'm not ready for you to start standing and aided. You clever girl. <gasps> are you so clever? Yeah. Yes, darling. Can, can this, can this, is this new? No, it's not new, sweetheart. Yeah, well, we had it when we moved in. Like this, then pop it in. Clever girl! Yay! <laughs> Ma, here we go. She looks, she's loving these. Wow. Do you want these? I love them, Jace. No one, it's blue. Do you want these? He loves them. You reading your book, Jace? Yes. <laughs> anyway, good morning iFam. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Whatever you're getting up to today. We've had a really busy morning actually. We've launched the new Baby Me collection which I am so excited about. I'm so happy. I have lots of lovely, lovely sales and orders which is always so nice. I always find it really exciting like to find out which one's like the best one. There's a couple actually today that have sold kind of the same amount each of. So that's really cool. I had a day last week where the store suddenly just blew up, like from, I can't even remember, it just suddenly, I was like, what's going on, who's shared something, because why is the store going crazy, and I'm not joking, like, quad six times the amount of orders, no, more than that in fact, like insane amount of orders, I can't even remember exactly how many, but it was like a lot, not quite like a hundred a lot, but like, I don't know, like 35, 36 orders. 37 orders something like that but each order had like multiple products on so it just seemed like so I was like what is going on like and there were like multiple products per order and I couldn't work it out I was like someone must have shared me somewhere and then I realized <laughs> like an idiot the next day oh hang on a minute it's because I shared them on the vlog so on the vlog I'd mentioned snuggle hoods which I'd wore in the caravan it was the caravan vlog that had gone live and I was sat with the snuggle hood, hood on and I was saying like how, I was basically sharing them and literally every order was snuggle hoods and blankets but mainly snuggle hoods. So thank you all so much for your orders. What's that Mila? She likes your book Jace. Do you want to have a look at the book? Mila? She's like no, if Jace is going back over here, I am going back over here. <laughs> what are you doing pudding? <gasps> wow, look, play with Jace. Oh, so cute. So all three girls are currently upstairs doing a bit of schoolwork, even though it's a Saturday today, it's the weekend, but they're doing a bit of extra schoolwork because we've got a busy, well, we're leaving for our van trip in a few days. We've got a few days left, but I know on the day that we're traveling and the day after, they're probably not gonna get much schoolwork done. So I just said, just work through the weekend. Um, so I love the freedom and the flexibility of homeschool so much. So, so much how, if you know you've got a few busy days coming up, obviously we could still do schoolwork, but you know, why not? Just do just work over the weekend when we've got nothing planned and then you can have a couple of days off next week instead. So they're upstairs doing that. I'm just playing with these two down here. Chris is just doing a few jobs outside the house and I'm doing some jobs inside the house. I need to start packing today because I leave it to the last minute every time and I just, it's not good. So I'm waiting on a few Amazon packages arriving. I've just had delivery of a new, an, uh, another pack, sorry, of these reusable baby wipes. I've got two packs of these already and I'm completely converted. Does anybody else watching this video use reusable baby wipes? Let, let me know down below if you do. And if not, then you should definitely try them because they're so much nicer and easy to use. Like just not even considering like the effect on the planet, but they're just, I prefer them. I, I love them. So I've got two packs of these already and this is the third pack and I do need that many. We've also ordered on Amazon, they've not arrived yet, but some reusable sanitary products, not sanitary knickers, not like period pants, but like sanitary, I guess like sanitary towels, but reusable ones. I didn't even know they did them. So I've ordered some of those. I don't like the period pants so much. I just feel like they're so stiff, the pants. Maybe it's the ones I've been using. I've tried two different brands. They do work really well, like they don't work or anything like that, but I just find them quite bulky. I don't know, I can't really explain. So I thought I'd try 
the liners instead. And also some reusable makeup pad removers. L look, I, I know like, right, listen, okay. I'm not saying I can change the world, okay? <laughs> I'm not claiming to even try and change the world. And I'm not claiming to be a saint. I'm still gonna go on holidays. I'm still gonna go on aeroplanes and travel. I'm still gonna travel miles and miles and miles in my van and my car and use fuel. So I'm still gonna wrap my children's Christmas presents up that's usually too many in paper. Um, I'm not claiming to be a saint. But do you know, I often see things like this when someone shares like something sustainable, but then they get bashed with like, well, there's no point doing that if you're still doing this. And there's no point doing that if you're still gonna do X. Not necessarily us, just other people. But I want to show you guys why it actually is good just to take a few small steps. So I ordered some nappies from a website that I saw recommended on a friend's um, Facebook actually. They were super cute, so I had to go and try them out. She said that they had a sale on, so I went and had a look. The website was called Baba Boo, I think, or Baba and Boo. I'll have a look in a second. I think it was Baba and Boo actually. And they had a sale on, the reusable nappies, and they arrived one day last week, and I love them. Oh my gosh, some nappies, reusable ones, feel like plasticky, and these ones are so soft. They're the softest. They're, they are genuinely the softest reusable nappies I've ever felt from anywhere. And they've got some starting at like five pound. They're, they're super cheap. They're super cheap if you, mm, you got daddy's glasses on. If there's options that you like in the sale. Um, they also do reusable swim nappies. I'll show you guys them if anyone's interested in a little bit. But the pa my point is, the package that they came in, it came with a leaflet and a storybook. The storybook was so cute, but the leaflet said that if you only change to one reusable nappy per day, so if you want to just, for whatever reason, just using one nappy, per day. I don't know why, maybe maybe you, you you don't feel comfortable using them out the house or maybe whatever the reason may be. <laughs> Jeez, if you just use one reusable nappy per day in replace of a disposal one, you are going to save 900 nappies going to landfill. That's if you just change one per day. Do you think that's cool? I was shocked at the amount. You, you wouldn't change it now, would you? I wouldn't go back either. So much easier. Um, so my point is, is that small changes do make a big difference. 900 nappies is such a lot. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, it's such a big difference. You know, I have five children, four of those children are girls, so if all of those, well obviously Mila's fully reusable nappies now, we've not used disposables for a while. Um, we did one went in the caravan because we weren't fully prepared, but we've got a long van trip coming up and we will only be taken disposable nap uh, reusable sorry reusable nappies with us and then the five girls if we can convert to reusable makeup pads and reusable sanitary products that's a lot that's that's a big difference and imagine if we could inspire just one or two or three or ten of you guys to make that change what darling you found that little egg if you guys could make that change even if you only use one disposable nappy or you just decide to get reusable makeup pads or sanitary products it does make a difference, doesn't it, Isla? You're not called Isla. <laughs> Mila. <laughs> I just went to check the website because there's no point telling me, me telling you guys about the sale if it's the wrong website. So it is Barbara and Boo. And this, let me turn the camera around. This is what the website looks like. And these, when I, I didn't see these when I did mine, when I ordered mine, but look. How cute this is. Oh my gosh. I need to order that. I might order that today without Chris knowing. He might actually kill me if I order any more reusable nappies. I've gone a bit crazy the last few weeks. Um, and these are the ones that I ordered previously. So nice little selection. Honestly, you, they're so, so soft. Obviously this outside has to be waterproof. So they do often sometimes feel plasticky, but these don't at all. And they all come with two inserts as well. So that one, this one, which is super pretty. This one, I love block plain color ones. I don't know why, but I just really do. And um, this, this one, which is really cute. And then I haven't obviously used these swim nappies yet. These are swim nappies, so cute. That one and one minute Mila, that one as well. And then I also ordered a nappy, a nappy sack. Also, Chris cringed really bad about this, but then was like, it's kind of cute. I can't, I can't, like, I can't even show you, look. A reusable nappy keyring. Oh my gosh, it's got a teeny weeny itty bitty reusable nappy keyring to go on her changing bag. Love it. Anyway, um, I need to do some washing. I've got a bag of nappies that I need to wash. I've ordered some more of these nappy sacks just to prepare better for the van. Um, I've ordered a new pram, a, a lightweight 
uh, what's it called, compact pram because our bugaboo is just absolutely massive and it takes up so much space, especially when we're in the van and we need as much space as possible. So I've ordered a new pram, that's meant to arrive soon. I've ordered a few more learning resources to take away with, for with J, take away with for Jace. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit of washing and things until they all arrive. This toy has the potential to be amazing, but it's just got this flaw where the magnet's not strong enough to keep the box, to keep the lid on the box. So when she gets bored, she's just like, "Yep, yeah, not gonna bother working that out." Oh, she's doing it now. You've got to turn it. You can do it. That's it. Clever Mila. So you can play too. Come down there on the floor, I think. And got one. Clever boy. I'm gonna have to have one. <laughs> Good girl. You sharing? Oh my gosh, that might just be the cutest thing I've ever witnessed. Mila trying to get a teapot in the right position to put some in a cup. So cute. I don't even know how she knows that. I don't know about anyone else, but when you get the chance to go to the supermarket by yourself, it literally feels like the biggest treat ever. <laughs> it feels like such a treat. I absolutely love it. I don't know why, but I always feel like I need to rush though. I need to be quick. I need to get back. I need to get back. I need to get back. You buy some treats that I don't know about. Yeah, yeah, pot of mango. I, I, I think I eat them. Yeah, but I bet you don't eat a pot of mango, do you? I bet you get like a double cheeseburger I, from I, McDonald's. I have that mango actually, thank you, because when I go to Aldi, I love getting that pot the of mango. The mango's so good, isn't it? Yeah. I did actually buy some cold water prawns as well, but I didn't eat those. Didn't fancy them. Anyway, uh, I always feel like I need to rush back. I need to rush back. I need to rush back. Today, I got, and there's no reason why Chris is more than capable of looking after the, the Jason Mila on, on his own. It's just because of when you breastfeed, sometimes she's a little bit of hard work, right? Until she breastfeeds. But recently, she has really dropped him during the day, which is fabulous. And it means that Chris, I can leave her more. So I got back today after rushing around Aldi I went to. And Chris is like, shh, the second you left, she fell fast asleep, but she's still asleep. I was asleep the whole time. Wish I didn't rush. Anyway, this is literally the situation right now. <laughs> We've got laundry going on over here. We're just folding up laundry. We've got all the shopping here. Also, can you guess which are the girls' favourite biscuits? Especially in the van. In the van, I was about to say. They don't really eat them at home as much. We just don't really have biscuits as much at home. But they absolutely love rich tea biscuits. And these are literally 30p in Aldi. Biggest bargains ever. So whenever I go to Aldi, I always stock up. And um, these are gonna be for the van. So we're gonna fill in fact some of this some of this food is actually for the van. Like treats that we get, like Chris, these are Chris's, he always they're like a van treat. Does anyone else do that? Like a holiday treat? I'm sure you all do. Something that you only get like when you're on your holidays or at certain seasons or certain times of year. I did get you some smarties, two minutes. Um, so those are Chris's. I bought a load of packets of ice pops to pop in the freezer. And then also a few other things like gravy, because you can. Can you get gravy where we're going? We struggled, and not that I'm cooking like a Sunday dinner or anything like that, but sometimes we like gravy if you have like pie, pie and gravy, things like that. Chris loves this. So he puts that on literally everything. He put, he put that on toast the other day. Toast. What are you doing? Adding a bit of um, spice. Nice. But your toast tastes delicious now. Um, <laughs> got some of that extra for Chris. I got some of these because they make a really good quick snack or breakfast if the girls are not very hungry. What you little man? Oh, what's that is? Oh, well, what do we say when we want please. something, Jace River? We say, we say please mama and then we say I'm such a good boy Please mama, I'm such a good boy And I love you so much I love you so much And I will love you forever I love you forever I'm only joking darling See dad is not my favourite Dad is not my favourite See I don't have favourites I don't have favourites I love all my family I love all my family <laughs> very very messy playroom this is the aftermath of me taking my pictures yesterday was it yesterday or the day before can't remember what day it was now i think it was the day before but yeah i need to get 
all of these are folded up. I'm looking at this. Also, I have mentioned this before, but I do still get messages about this. I'm sure it's pretty obvious to most, but just in case, um, I don't sell the blankets that you see here screwed up. Like, there's often been comments saying things like, who's going to want that blanket after it's been screwed up, the up on the floor? Probably a lot of people, actually. <laughs> but I don't sell the blankets that I take out of the packet is to take pictures for. Most of them are donated to like family and friends. Be careful Jace, just be careful. Um, and a lot of them I like to keep for myself, just like for, well, number one, for memories, because I love them. I love the designs, I love the blankets. And we do use them a lot in the caravan, in the van over winter. The girl, oh careful. The girls also, um, the girls also like to keep one from each launch, like their favorite one. Yeah. Yes, like their favourite one, so they always take one, which is what these are here. This one's my favourite, so I'll be taking that. This one is Isabel's favourite, so she's taken that. Isla, Esme, they took theirs the second I'd done the pictures. So when I take the pictures, they came in and was like, have you photographed them yet? Can we have them? Okay. They run off with theirs. Um, I'm sure that's pretty obvious to most anyway, but just in case. Baby me launch, so many of you guys asked where these were from. I bought these from Verba Day and you can you obviously buy them separate, they didn't come as a set or anything like that. The cushions here came separate and then these three were also separate. I've shared the small business on Instagram that I got these from and I got this also, I bought this also from a small business on Instagram called Love by Lily. It's absolutely beautiful. I know I've mentioned it before and actually when she saw the vlog I think someone must have highlighted it to her or something like that she sent me a message on Instagram and offered me a discount code for you guys and I actually can't remember what the discount code was but I will check my phone and I will make sure it's included like in the description box of this video so thank you so much that's so kind I definitely recommend them they're super soft super squishy they wipe clean really easily yep we've already had a spillage and they're just really really lovely they come in like circle rectangle and lots of different designs this one is the loft size and it's just like the perfect size for this corner um i've also got obviously a print here i'm not sure where these are going i think these ones are going to go like on the wall somewhere here but i don't want them they look nice high but that kind of defeats the object of them being like learning it's completely pointless having art like that on the wall which is kind of like a learning poster which is what I'd call as a poster, like a learning one, that I want Jace and Mila to be able to see and learn from if they're too high and they're not going to look at them, obviously, because they can look up. Are you playing with Peppa? But um, yeah, so I kind of need them to be lower down so that they can use them and see them and look at them on a daily basis. Mila's absolutely obsessed with these ones. <laughs> She's always climbing up at them. So I think they might go here-ish, like there. What do you think, Jace? Obviously, obviously those are not staying there. Is that good? Yeah. Can you see all the numbers on that? Yeah. Cool, yeah, so maybe somewhere like here. Mom, there's lots of, of elephants on this. There is, isn't there? And then obviously in this space here, there's going to be bookshelves. And then I've also got a few other bits to go on this back wall here, but it does need another lick of white paint. Yeah? Two, two, three, two, and one is... Now, Wales. There is. What well, can you see, Mila? Well done, clever boy. These are just. These are not glass, by the way. One. Well done. And how many rainbows? One, two, three. Yay! Three. So that's three. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jace. Do you think you can count those elephants? And these ones. Yeah. Do you think okay. you can count those? Count the elephants first. One, one. Yeah, go. You just count them. Two, three, four. Yep. Five, six. Oh, I think it's that one. Six. Six. Yep. Oh, Mila. Yeah. Eight. Yep. Nine. Yep. And then one more. Ten. Yay! What's after ten? What comes after ten? Ten. That's a ten. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why is there just two ones? Because there's a one in ten. It's oh, cool, wow. isn't it? So a couple of my Amazon bits have arrived. 
some of this because it's the best nappy cream ever and we go through so much of it not just for nappies but loads of other things as well some nappy bags and um, these are just this size for when you're out and about and you need to put a dirty nappy inside a nappy sack we've got those ones we've got a big one this is great for carrying nappies around because it's much bigger it's got two zips as well so you can put like reusable wipes in here and then if you need to when you're out and about you can also use the second compartment for dirty nappies and dirty wipes and then the clean compartment for clean nappies and clean wipes i've never used this style before but i ordered two this one and a pink one the pink the pink one's not arrived but they look so cute and so nice so basically you put your dirty nappy inside and then you roll it like this trying to do it with one hand and then you close it up. Pretty cool. Also, I know this vlog seems like I'm just going on about nappies the whole vlog, <laughs> but if anybody is interested in me doing a very quick, and I will definitely keep it quick, like tutorial on reusable nappies, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I do know what I'm doing now. And I wanted to reuse reusable nappies for so long. I wanted to with Jace, in fact. You guys probably know if you watched our vlogs for a while that I did inquire to you. <laughs> and ask for advice about using reusable nappies but I found when I did research myself I was just completely overwhelmed with information and it, it scared me a little bit and I was like oh I don't know if this is for me it sounds a bit scary but it's so easy it's genuine careful Jace I've got a pile of nappies over there to go organize it's so easy to use and once you get the hang of it like you will never go back anyway if anyone wants me to do that let me know and I will anyway the last thing that's arrived not my prime yet which is a little bit annoying but I ordered this. I've had this in my basket for, I, gosh, a long time. A long, long time. Or my saved for later. And I, ne I could never decide if to make the purchase or not to buy it. Just because some of the reviews are like, it doesn't work great or mine arrived damaged and things like that sometimes put me off, but it shouldn't do because I always find when I make my own decisions, actually it ends up, I actually end up loving it. And it wasn't expensive. I think it was just under 20 pound and it's electronic. So you put the cards in and then it repeats like the letters and numbers and things. So I thought it'd be really, really handy whilst we're away in the van. Obviously we're limited on space and resources for learning, but not limited as in we can't do them. But this would be really cool for when we're like driving and he's just independently learning, if that makes sense, like a fun game for him to do. So I made the purchase. I'll let you guys know what I think, but I mean, it looks pretty good. It's like a little, it's like a pretend foam. So I just opened it up and it actually comes with the batteries, which I wasn't expecting. So that's really cool, yeah? Yeah, you can have more water, darling. Um, and so many cards. I don't really know wh what I was expecting, but honestly, there's so many there. Alphabet, numbers, colours, and I'm not even sure what else. I'll open those in a second. And then this is the little device here. I'm definitely not the only one that uses a knife to open battery compartments. I know some of you guys do it too. I know you do. Because who knows where those tiny little screwdrivers are that only ever come in crackers at Christmas to open these things. Yes, Chase? When I fixed it up, like I said, okay? You have to be patient. Is it not done? No, we have to be patient. Okay, let me get back to organising. <laughs> Sorting this toy for Jace. Okay, good boy for waiting patiently. You ready to open it? No, not open it. Turn it on. Okay. Are you ready? Hello, my friend. Let's learn and have fun together. <laughs> Hi, <gasps> my friend. Please insert the car and let's learn together. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. You love it. Sit down, Mila. Okay, let's put in one of these ones. Okay, you ready? Is it camera tail? I don't think it's a camera, darling. No. I thought it was broken, Please but it turned it off. Okay, you ready? Now we pop one in. A A. Big A. Little. Hi, my friend. A A. <laughs> wow, Big what's Afa? Turn it this way. Afa. Yeah. Let's put it in the apple. You said? A is for <laughs> apple. <laughs> wow. So I just opened all the cards out and oh my goodness, you actually get so many. So you get all of the letters, animals, colours, shapes, the weather, numbers, transport, fruits, uh, body parts, musical instruments and feelings. I'm so happy about the feelings one because I was just saying to Chris the other day, I don't think Jace like understands properly about feelings or able to like express how he feels. That only actually became evident to me the other day when he was crying over something and I said, I'm, I'm so sorry you're feeling sad. And he said, I'm not, I'm happy. I'm like, you're not happy darling because you're crying. And he said, no, I'm good, I'm happy. 
So I was trying to explain to him that it's okay to feel sad. And when we're crying and, that, and feeling sad, that's okay. Anyway, I was trying to explain emotions to him. So I'm really glad that those have arrived because I've been looking for emotion learning resources. So I'm, it's really cool. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, and they're all double-sided too. So like on the animals, there's like cats can catch mice, like facts type thing. Um, it's a cloudy afternoon, like ears. This is not an ad by the way, but I just love it when I find good toys. We hear with our ears, so things that you do with all your different body parts. I am really happy with the emotions part of them. They're really cool. Yes, darling. Oh, the taste as well of things. I really like that. The only problem is, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these cards because I feel like they could get broke, bent or lost quite quickly. So I think for now I'm just going to pop them in an Ikea Ziploc bag and hopefully that will keep them safe. This isn't sponsored or gifted or anything like that. I just really like it when I find a product that I really like and I feel like you guys would like too for your children. So that's why I like to show them. But um, I'll leave a link in the description box if any of you guys are interested in buying this or looking at the reviews or checking it out for yourself. Yeah, we're gonna make dinner now. Okay, Chris has got something in the van to show me. You'll have to turn that music off, babe. I know you're a believer now. Chris Kit critted the girls are mortified. Chris Kit's blasting out Justin Bieber. Yeah, man, this is all here before. Obviously, this is the sofa. The sofa cushions come over here. This is like a little place so to put So the girls your, put their books. Oh, no, with shoes. On. Shoes we put in that one. It's for shoes. Still got a sand in it from Ireland. <laughs> But now, you used to, there's a fridge underneath this, like a second fridge. We've got obviously the fridge around there in the kitchen, and we've got a second fridge in here. You used to have to lift the, the seat up to get to it before, which is annoying because you had to take the seat cushion up, and anyone who was sat there had to move. But now, okay, move back a minute, Jace. What? Boom. That's so cool. Now you can access it without even doing anything. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Esme will be buzzing. No, no, she, was usually, nice. she was usually the one that used to have to open this and move everything and move the cushions yeah, to get now out got, there. Now you've got a pan Rich. shelf as well, which is going to be amazing Oh yeah, because the pans are usually stuffed under there or in the bottom. But we used the bottom one for um, towels on the last trip, didn't we? Yeah. So let me see if they fit. Oh, uh, they will fit loads of them. We're going to put in there. Oh yeah, there's loads of space. You can put plates and all sorts under that. That's so cool. Okay, I'm quite impressed. Um, okay, one there. thing that's absolutely adorable, I can't cope with. I'm gonna go get it now. Okay, is that Isabel? Well, not Isabel, but there used to be a no coffee, no worker sign on the wall over here, right where Jay sits in his car seat. When Chris took everything out um, to redo the van, he got rid of the, that sign, he not, not binned it, just took it out. And so it wasn't there when we went to Ireland, and all Chris kept saying, Jace kept saying was, Where's my no coffee, no worky sign? <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't understand what he's saying, but it's just the fact that. He was like, he wanted the no coffee, no worker sign. So Chris said he's putting it here on the door so Jace can hold on the kitchen bar so that Jace can always see it when he gets in the van. I think he's going to go and do that and fit it with him now. Yeah. What about right here? No. Right in the door? Uh, no. Why not? I don't want it in there. Where what? do you want it? I want it inside. He <laughs> wants it where it was before. You want it next to your chairs yeah. like it was before? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> It doesn't fit with the dad's aesthetic. It doesn't, Jace. I'm sorry. I might have to lose this now. No, I'll put it there. Just put it there, friend. I'm just I reckon they're going to be cool. I mean, it's, 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 oh, did you hear it? What did you say? Fine. Fine. She took it right in there, though, so Fine. you can hardly see it. No, I'll just pop it there. Right at the head, you reckon? Yeah. Right on that line. Wash? Yeah, I'll wash it, yeah. That's cool. It's just dusty from being thrown in the garage for like a few months. <laughs> Isabel be chuffed as well. She likes that as well, didn't she? Guys, I've got to be fast because. The battery is flashing, please do not die on me. But yeah, um, I'm so excited because I haven't fil filmed about this earlier. Sorry about the mess in the background. But um, I haven't filmed about this earlier because I totally, totally forgot to film about it. But um, my hair roller things arrived today and I'm so happy with them. I absolutely love them. Um, and yeah, they're just they're going to be helpful. Um, I still am in love with my new haircut. Love it so much. I wanted to show you. I have transformed my art trolley that I used to keep loads of stuff on. Um, I kind of turned into more of a dump trolley and it was just really unorganized. There was just stuff all over it and it was just packed in my windowsill. But I've made it into my yarn trolley and it's so satisfying to look at. If anyone came and ruined this, I would cry. So this is my um, yarn art trolley and look how organized and nice it looks. I've got all my thin yarn here um, and then I've got all my chunky yarn down here. I've got so much chunky yarn. Like I had to ram it all in. I even, one second, I've got um, all my hooks, uh, this pencil case for when we go traveling um, and all of this stuff that I also use and this is just parked under my shelves right now. Um, but I think I'm gonna move it. And then this box, 
We've also got Bunny's bed, but also in this box is also full of yarn all the way to the bottom. So I've actually got a little big collection going on right now. <laughs> and me and Esme are about to put on Stranger Things, but we are actually on the um, second, no, the last episode for like, how many times? Like a million of times? <laughs> yeah, and we got two hours and 12 minutes to watch. Yeah, the last episode of season four of Stranger Things is like massively long. Yeah, so. Ah! That's a good night for us, guys. <sighs> Make sure you hit subscribe and you come back for our next video. Bye guys!